<laughs> Hello. I think I'm doing all right. How are you doing? <laughs> well, some of you, and obviously all of you know, that this has been done. Um, kind of touched on it a little bit um, the last show that I was up here, but kind of did want to make one statement about it, I suppose, that is very important. It's, um, it's amazing when you go through some things in life that are, are pretty rough, they change you, sometimes not for the better, sometimes for the better, and everything in between. But at every stage of our lives, we encounter a catalyst for good or ill. Most of the time, it's our choice to make of it what we will. And then sometimes it's something that just completely blows you away and you realize everything hinges on this and you change. My husband is probably the biggest catalyst. He is the reason why I came out of the darkness. He is the reason why I chose to face my demons and tell them I'm in charge now. I'll visit, but I don't live with you anymore. And Scott, thank you. So on that note, the poem that I chose to read tonight is one that is his favorite. And um, I hope you like it too. <laughs> it's called Becoming One. Four letters have I for my heart to speak. Supposedly these characters are to say it all for me. They say too little. That which I feel is so much more. What use have I for a word so worn as love? Poets have oft spoken of oceans, of limitless size, of endless scenic grandeur, all of this in an effort to define love. So now do I seek to define my heart. For me, it was no abrupt affair, but a realization in time that you were the key to my second self the rare compliment to a soul, a human becoming, a life. Into my darkness you brought light, an alien object in my world. The light was the bane, yet you a boon. How I struggled to embrace that brilliance. So much light, so bright, too luminous, too soon. Comfort had been found in the sanctity of shadows. Even a love however far removed, a champion of vicarious evil, a defiant master to pain and spite, ironic that his physical form you had to claim, he the untouchable guardian of my dark sanctuary, you the tangible embodiment of love, a confounding epiphany, the physical presence of that power in form, the brilliance of hope. Though in darkness you found me, darkness you have left to my leisure, for my shadows you do not fear. To my darkness I will always stray, but remain embraced by your radiance. Without light, there can be no shadow. Without shadow, light has no form. Love is an unexpected completion of oneself. With you, the ring is joined. Thank you. 